<laughs> hey guys, today we're back with another Python update. And um, I just watched a Yankee Marshall second video, and uh, this one was a little bit more. Uh, I guess educational I could uh, I guess you would say instead of uh, more over the top than his normal videos but um, my conclusion to it really quickly is that yes he knows what he's talking about when it comes to old pythons and that is correct that you can short stroke an old python and that will happen but the new pythons are nowhere near the internals like the old pythons that being said, I've actually got a video where I've already tried to do that and short stroke it, uh, and I could not replicate a short stroke in motion, or I could not replicate that happening with uh, short stroking it, and I actually couldn't get it to the short stroke at all. I will show you all right now, just trying to remake that, that that is not the point. So once here we have snap. Okay, it's double action. I can start from here, try and pull. This hammer will not come back. Start from here, trying to pull. This hammer will not come back. Even coming all the way to here, and I can even feel it give right there. It finally give, and the hammer will strike then. Once again, I'll try and get the best quality I can. Come from here. And the thing about it is that there is a lot of pressure on this trigger coming forward that it will throw your finger off the trigger every time. Even coming to here, you can hear it kind of catching there, but if you go straight back, it still will not move this hammer. So we'll even come to the second click. So here's the first click, second click, and it still, see right now the hammer's locked up. It will not move. The hammer will not move until the cylinder will also move. So we're trying, I've got pressure on it right now. The hammer still won't move. Second click, or third click, my bad. And now it removed. So uh, that being said, I just don't, I, I think that he's coming from a perspective of old pythons, which you can indeed short stroke, but I tried my best to get this new one to short stroke and I couldn't. Uh, from the only thing that I can tell is that uh, besides just the obvious problem being uh, wrong with the, uh, the python where the cylinder turns and the hammer don't come back and forth, um, with this one, I believe uh, it could possibly be something to where uh, whenever you shoot a full magnum load, um, something could be disconnected and make that come and make that stop and then it finally wiggles itself out and comes back in. Or I, I mean, being honest with you, I'm not really sure and neither was Colt. And that's another big thing is that uh, he said in his video that it's just because of user error. Uh, he said actually two parts of, we'll get to the first part, that it is a uh, user error and that's what's creating the gun to do that, to, to short stroke or whatever. Well, Cold has watched my video 100 times. I mean, I'm telling how many times. And they've, I'm sure they've watched uh, Hickok's video. I'm telling how many times. And they said over the phone to me that they was dying to get their hands on both mine and his uh, revolver. And if that's the case, why, if they thought, I mean, and you know good and well... I mean, I'm not challenging his, his intelligence or nothing, but you know good and well that the people at Colt know more about building a revolver and how a revolver works internally than Yankee Marshall does. And, you know, th th that just being said, if they've watched my video and Hickok's video and multiple other videos now that are coming to surface of the Python messing up, then... Why would they be so worried about getting them back and looking at them and working on them? Instead, why didn't they just return with, oh, you're short stroking it or whatever? Because whenever I'd actually contacted Colt, uh, the second time, the first time, um, they had, you know, I, I had not even uploaded any of the videos yet. They was actually uploading as I talked to them and they didn't under, they couldn't really understand exactly what I was telling them, but they sent me a, a, um, you know, a label to send it back in the mail and all that. But the second time I talked to them, they 100% knew exactly who I was and they knew uh, the videos, the, they've watched all, the multiple videos that I had uploaded at the time and Hickox had been in, uploaded and he addressed that uh, straight up that something was wrong with these guns and that they was, and that he, and quote, they are dying to get their hands on both mine and his revolver, but they, they was having a hard time finding his because they didn't know if it was with him still or at Bud's in Tennessee or Bud's in Lexington, Kentucky. 
and um, they were still having a problem finding his, but mine indeed was the first one to ever surface with these problems on the internet, and it was the first one to go back to Colt, and the Colt received mine this Friday, or last Friday, sorry, my bad, and, uh, you know, We've still got a little bit of time uh, on telling how long actually it'll be till they actually get it fixed or they call me and tell me what's wrong with it or what they figured out about it, if they do that at all. But, um, you know, the point I'm trying to make is that if Colt really thought that it was user error, wouldn't they have already tried to put out a official statement or, uh, you know, just something saying, hey, don't short stroke these revolvers, you know, uh, slap on the wrist kind of thing but know that they're not doing that they understand that something's wrong with them and they're not trying to blame the user and even further after that is that they just they they just don't want to i guess upset anybody more than they're already upset because even if this was a short, a short stroking problem like what he said nobody's going to pay fifteen hundred dollars for a revolver that's going to short stroke that easily and get out of time and mess up that easily um I've had, I mean, you can look through my channel and see how many revolvers I've had, and that's not even how many revolvers I've actually had and shot, and I'm telling how many I've actually shot, but I have never had a single short stroke happen while I've been shooting, and for for it just to pop up, and, and even, even him questioning Hickok 45, I understand he's got some beef with him over some reason, I'm not sure why. I didn't dug into dig into it. I was a subscriber to Yankee Marshall for a long time, and he said something about a uh, school resource officer one day, and it didn't set with me right, so I unsubscribed. And then I just now recently subscribed back to him, but um, no hard feelings to him or nothing like that. But to even question uh, Hickok over his ability to shoot a revolver whenever he's got more videos than anybody up on YouTube whenever it comes to reviewing guns and revolvers or whatever else. And to my knowledge, Yankee doesn't really have many videos of him actually shooting guns and actually reviewing them to the point of how I review them or how Hickok reviews them, not questioning his intelligence or how he can manipulate a gun or anything else. But you know, it's, it's just not right to point fingers at somebody and say, hey, you're wrong, you're stupid, or, or you know, however else you want to put it, because that's pretty much how I feel that he looked at Hickok and done. Maybe he is a sellout, maybe he isn't, maybe he does uh, do it for the money, maybe he doesn't, maybe he's like me and enjoys it. I mean, I really seriously enjoy doing YouTube, and that's one thing that brings me joy in life, and I just really, I really enjoy it. But the point I'm getting at is that if he's going to say that everybody's stupid and everybody's manipulating the guns and uh, they're doing it to their self, he might need to buy a new Python and do and check it out first before he says that what somebody's doing is wrong and whatever else. Because I would understand if these Pythons are just like his. I've owned three old Pythons. I've owned a I've I've owned a 1969 blued uh, six inch, a 1979 blued six inch and a 1994, I believe it was either 94 or 84 or an 86, I can't remember, six inch stainless, and never short stroke none of them. But uh, you know, the, the parts in these new pythons are nothing like the old pythons, the internals, I mean, it would be just like, uh, it would just be like pretty much comparing a 19, 65 uh, Corvette to a 2020 Corvette with internals because they're nothing alike and that you can't compare them. They're, you really cannot compare them. And that's something that he's forgetting and that even if you do have an old Python and you can sit there and, and short stroke it all day long, that doesn't mean that the new Pythons operate like that and that, and that they will work like that. And getting on to the second thing that he's talking about, I think that he's trying to somewhat redeem himself a little bit for uh, the video that he put out earlier. Because even though he was getting a lot of likes on it and everything, a lot of people in the comments was chewing him out. I mean, I was just commenting my personal opinions on it and, and saying what I thought about it. But, uh, you know, for him to question Hickok 45 uh, and his, uh, his ability to manipulate a revolver correctly is, I just think, a little bit over over exaggerating or you know a little bit past what he should be saying personally but i mean i know he's not uh, he's not being the most uh 
upstanding YouTuber whenever it comes to guns. But uh, you know, he's I would at least respect somebody for what they do a little bit more than he he does. But anyway, what he was saying uh, about actually trying to uh, save face, I believe, was that uh, the python should be able to withhold more than just somebody short, short stroking it and it busting or breaking or whatever. And, uh, you know, that, that could be correct and that could be 100% uh, the truth. But now, uh, I don't know if, the, if you would even say that these guns was damaged after his, uh, I guess, quote-unquote, short stroking because... Even though uh, mine did mess up that one time, it still would shoot almost every single other time. Besides light primer strikes, we got to throw it out the window when we're talking about this. But it did line up and it did shoot and, and it did connect with the primer even though it didn't go off. But you know, it, it did do that. So I don't know what's going on to make these uh, cylinders uh, not spin whenever you pull them in double action or what's going on. But uh, I'm just here to say 100% that uh it's not because anybody's short stroking or whatever and colt knows that too and if it would have been colt wouldn't have come out and said that something's wrong with these guns that they put out so guys appreciate y'all viewing leave your question and comments in the space below and and just let me know what you think about it do you think that people short stroking it i mean i know i didn't i'm just being dead honest with you i know i didn't because at one point i even took my finger off the trigger and then i put it back on and that's whenever the gun accidentally went off whenever i didn't even know what was going on but now it's just uh it's just kind of uh it, it's just funny how he's trying to blame it on people that saying that they don't know how to use a revolver especially someone to the point of uh how many times uh hickok 45 has reviewed revolvers and everything else but guys i appreciate y'all viewing like and subscribe for more gun reviews and i'll see you all in the next video